But at its core, what we can see already right here is a very structured way of thinking about decision making and about strategy. And that's what I kind of want to emphasize uh, off the bat here about how you go about decision making. If you just break decision making down into its components, right? If you break any difficult problem down into its components, you're going to be so much better off versus what nearly everyone does across the majority of decisions, which is not approach them with data. It's not approach them by thinking through them, uh, but it's just, okay, I feel this way. I think this is the best. I recall this or so on, and then going about it and committing to an entire course of action because of that. So game theory is not perfect. It is not practical, but as a frame of mind, as, okay, I'm approaching a difficult decision. What should I do? It's very useful in that sense. Um, what it does off the bat too, in a emotional sense, is it forces you to take a step back, right? Uh, as in, let's say you get into you know a difficult situation uh, at school, right? And it comes down to someone thinks you cheated, but uh, or someone is pinning their cheating on you. Uh, your friend won't like you if you go to the professor. Uh, your professor will think you cheated and give you a bad grade if you you know rat on your friend. Uh, in that sense, that's a very difficult decision to make. Emotionally, you're gonna think one thing, but if you break that down into its components, you get a much more structured view, right? So in that sense, you have you, let's say you're player one, you might have player two being your uh, friend, and then you have player three who might be the professor, right? So you've broken down this problem into three players, and then you have a certain number of decisions, right? Let's call this D1 uh, and D2. And let's say D1 is, okay, go to the professor, I tell them what really happened. D2 is I take the hit to my grade. Um, and then we have payoffs associated with those actions, right? So we have P, um, and this P, let's say, gives you a negative payoff of 14. Uh, and this of uh, negative 12, because whatever happens, you're gonna be in a bad situation. But then there's also player two is your friend. And in one case, if you do screw them over, let's say player two is going to get a payoff of negative 30, because they're gonna get, uh, you know, they're gonna have to drop the class. Um, in case two, they get a payoff of four, because they cheated and got a better grade. And then the professor is kind of indifferent. The professor doesn't really care. We've now broken a difficult decision, a difficult problem into three players, two decisions that you can make, and based on just what you think about the decision, uh, the payoffs associated with them. Of course, in a, in a mathematical sense, you're not going to know these numbers. Uh, but simply the, the process of let me step back, let me analyze this situation, here's what I can do, here's what other people can do, and here's how that affects me. That's an incredibly useful process beyond school when you step into business. When you step into, hey, I'm running a business, I can allocate resources here, I can allocate resources there. Uh, there's a whole lot of things I can do uh, with certain partners, with people, with, with, with my effort and my time and that of employees. Uh, whereas thinking of things in a strategic, an inherently strategic sense will be any other way of just going about those decisions.